Hello, thank you for joining us to learn more about the first property back development loan investment on our platform. We're very excited to be launching this new type of investment and we're conducting this webinar today. Happy to be joined by Richard Rawlins. He's the CEO of Proceed Capital, who are our new expert lending partners who'll be bringing these exciting deals to the platform, as well as Rob Weaver, our director of property, who's going to be giving his perspective on the first opportunity that we have that we have come to the platform with Proceed. If you do have any questions while you're listening, feel free to send these via the chat window on screen or you can contact us separately through the, the help desk and the hello at property partner email address. If you've seen any of the material that we've published recently on this new type of investment, then you'll know that our, our model here is to work with third party experts who will originate and, mo and monitor these development loans on your behalf. And our role in that is to, to bring together the, the power of the crowd, the property partner investors, and uh, bring, bring your capital to, to have the opportunity to invest in these really high quali quality, expertly sourced and managed loans, which, which people wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to do. And of course, diversify across a selection of them rather than just sort of really putting a, a heavy concentration of capital in, in individual projects. So as I mentioned, we're joined by Richard Rawlins, CEO of Proceed Capital. And um, just to get us started, Richard, it'd be great if uh, if you could tell us a bit about Proceed, the, the company, and, and where, where it all started. Thanks, Mark. Uh, Proceed Capital um, is a specialist residential development finance funder, which was founded in 2015 by myself and my business partner, Phil Kerwin. Uh, the business evolved from the management team of Chancery St. James, which was an asset and development manager of a billion pound residential fund. In 2015, we recognized that there was strong demand from established residential developers for professional and reliable mezzanine debt to finance the construction of well-located, reasonably priced residential development schemes. Since 2015, we've provided 26 loans and we've got a current loan book of approximately 15 million pounds. We provide loans from 100,000 at the bottom end to 1.5 at the maximum end at a maximum loan to value of 75%. We also target residential schemes with exit values below 1,000 pounds per square foot and unit values below 1.5 million pounds. The loans are initially funded using our own funds and subsequently financed through a bond structure to third party investors. I would emphasize that Proceed has a strong residential development and management background. We're not just finance people dabbling in property, we're property people. This gives us the ability to carry out extensive due diligence during the uh, process. And we also work closely with both the developer and the funder throughout the life of the loan. Our expertise allows us to closely monitor the progress of each development loan through both the construction and the sales proceeds. Thanks, Richard. And I think that really gives our investors a flavour for for why why we've um, decided to embark on these projects with you and the the value that we see that Proceed can bring to the table. So, in terms of the first investment opportunity that we're bringing to the property partner platform. This is an office to residential conversion in Basildon in Essex. Can you tell us more about this investment opportunity? Yes, indeed. Um, this is a 1.2 million pound mezzanine uh, debt investment that we have originated. Uh, we are going to retain 5% of this loan, making 95% available for clients of property partner. The bond will pay a net interest rate of 10% per annum and is for a 15 month term. It also has a second charge security against the development site and the developer has provided a personal guarantee of 600,000. The project itself, as you said, is a conversion of an office building to 106 residential apartments. Um, the work has already started. It started in March 2018 and is expected to complete in December 2018, followed by a nine month sales cycle. Excellent, thank you. And it, let's uh, let's dig into some of the detail on the individual aspects that you you mentioned there. So first of all, a, a big part of uh, of your everyday job is to source these opportunities and find high quality development partners and make sure that they're uh, they're doing exactly the the kind of job that that you're happy to be backing. Can you tell us any more about the developer 
of the scheme in Basildon. Yes, thank you. The, the developer's London Green, and as you said, we carry out extensive due diligence on, on the developer, which includes obviously their financial position and their assets and liabilities, but also we look at great detail of what they've built historically and what their track record is. Uh, we, we look at the sites that they've actually built on and we actually go and visit them. The last site that they had was not dissimilar in terms of product. It was a scheme in Woolwich where there were 31 flats, which um, so far there are uh, 19 have been sold already. Um, we also look at, they, they've also carried out bigger schemes. So they have a good track record. They have a good, solid financial background and, and we're happy to partner with them. Sounds good. And um, as well as visiting some of their, their previous schemes, have you and your team been on site on this project? Absolutely. I mean, that is um, one of the first things that we do would be go to site and actually see what's there and understand exactly what the project is, what the exit is, what the build period is, and, and, and really look at it in detail. If you don't go and have a look at the site, you really can't get a flavour of that at all. Thank you. You mentioned that this is a mezzanine loan. Now, um, as as you'll know, if you've uh, if you, you're experienced in um, financial in debt instruments, or or if you've looked at our introductory material, this means it's a it's a secondary loan on top of what we call a senior loan, which is typically provided by a, a bank or um, a specialist development lender. Are you able to tell us any more about the senior lender and who who they are? Uh, yes, the, the senior lender is Pluto, and they are lending uh, the majority of the funds. They are lending 61% of the uh, value of the site, the loan to value, and we are providing an additional 1.25 million on top of that, which brings the loan to value to 68%. Okay, makes sense. Thank you. And in that case, then, the the basics of the development funding model is that the the senior lender will have their first charge security. We as the mezzanine lender have second charge security. How exactly does it work in terms of what investors call the capital stack? So when that loan is repaid, at what point do will property partner investors in, in this deal get, get their money back and indeed be paid their interest? So the the the, the payment um, scheme is is simple that initially once the property is sold and I, I'll talk in a little bit about the different options of how that can be sold or refinanced the first um, amount of money is paid back to the senior lender together with their interest and thereafter property partners will be returned their capital uh, plus the interest that's accrued over that period uh, only then um, does the developer get his equity returned and it's only at that stage that also that he would be entitled to any profit thereafter. I, I did refer to the, the sales technique. There are 106 flats to be sold here. The majority are one bedroom flats. They uh, have values of around £155,000 each. The two bedroom flats, of which I think there are only six, um, are at £240,000. Uh, thousand pounds so they are affordable units and the initial plan is to sell those units out into the open market there is strong demand in Basildon for flats of that type however they're not restricted purely to a sales program and the vendor uh, sorry the developer is looking um, at alternatives which would be to sell part uh, into the open market as individual units but actually retain some of them himself and also um, he would be looking to maybe sell the majority into the open market, but retain part of the building to be sold to an investor as a block sale. The building itself is in two wings, and so it makes it a natural, easy job to do to actually sell some into the open market and actually retain others, rent them out, and then sell them to an investor. Okay, so it, it sounds like um, there are multiple exit options, and a lot of thought has gone into that aspect of the deal and indeed what that means for downside protection from your perspective, which is exactly the kind of approach that, uh, that we would take when reviewing an investment property or, or, or indeed um, a, a debt investment. I think Rob's going to talk a bit more about that in a minute. Just whilst we're, um, we're talking about this deal and, and to finish off, you mentioned that Proceed Capital have funded this, this loan. 
already. What does that mean from our investors' point of view? Is is it therefore secured? There's there's no chance that this deal is going to fall away. Uh, yes, that's correct. Um, we uh, the market that we are dealing with uh, needs security that the deal is actually going to be completed, and we therefore use our own funds in order to complete that loan. So the loan is in place, and uh, we have 100% of our money in there at the moment. Uh, the, the proposal is that we will retain 5% in there so that we are aligned with um, with you and your investors. Excellent. So th that makes perfect sense. We, uh, we of course, look for that alignment of interest and, and gives comfort to, to all parties in the deal. Um, thanks so much, Richard. Just going to uh, move on to um, asking Rob Weaver, our director of property, a few questions now. So Rob, I believe that your your team have already visited this site. Yes, indeed, actually quite fortuitously, um, Jim Story, our director of, of acquisitions and management, lives locally and um, he popped over there a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's fair to say it's early, well, well then it was early days with site preparations taking place. Um, but what we really look at is the site location, other similar schemes and how the proposed scheme may fit into the local market. And what kind of due diligence are we looking to do on this deal and, and other deals like this? Because obviously, unlike with our equity investments, where we are directly sourcing those properties, in this case, it's a third party partner, it's, it's proceed capital, and we're relying on their expertise to, to find a loan, a development project, they're, they're a great developer. But it makes sense with our experience and we add value to the deal for our investors by doing an extra degree of diligence as well. So, so what exactly are you and your team planning to do on these development projects? Well, yes, um, I don't want to scare anyone, but what uh, both Jim and I did at the recovery group at RBS is deal with developments that have gone wrong. And interestingly, there, there were consistent themes. It wasn't just a case of an unlucky market timing. Um, and this is what we're keen to avoid. After all, it's the property itself, which is the most important part of the loan agreement. And bringing this direct experience to bear is what I believe sets us apart. Um, our job is a lot easier than normal in that it's much easier to review others, other parties' due diligence. Um, and also what we consider are the alternative exit options there may be. This helps us understand the downside protection um, and the property, uh, what, you know, and the property are, are against the loan itself. Okay, and in terms of assessing the value of the scheme and what those exit options would be, as you say, Jim, our acquisition director, has, has visited the site. What what degree of um, analysis have have you and Jim undertaken, and how have you uh, how have what kind of assessment of value have you come to? Obviously, we've got an independent valuation from third party valuer. Uh, we have a, a raft of very extensive analysis and due diligence from Proceed. You've, having looked at that and visited the site, are you, um, are you essentially all aligned in terms of the, the value that you would put on this scheme? Yes, uh, as I say before, what we do is review, um, we review uh, what's been provided uh, both by the valuer and Proceed. They've done extensive, extensive uh, due diligence. And I say it's, it's much easier to start with, with the, uh, the, the goal set rather than actually coming with a clean, clean bit of paper and, and, and finding where you are. So as I say, it's an easier job. Uh, and then what we do, we consider that against what's, what we see selling in the market, local comparables, um, and, you know, and also what it was, not just what's for sale, but also what's renting. And this is actually the part of the downside as well. So yes, we look at that and does this make sense? And, and uh, to ourselves, yes, it does. Excellent. So as you'd expect, the seal of approval of Rob and the property partner property team going over this deal, in addition to the, um, the, the really quite high quality research analysis that we've taken from, from Proceed. Um, that have, have got us uh, comfortable with um, the partnership in this deal, particularly this uh, development loan bond opportunity in Basildon and Essex. Okay.
as I said, if you have any more questions that we haven't covered, then do please feel free to send those in via the, um, the chat facility on the webinar, or you can email us at hello at propertypartner.co or indeed call our help desk. We'll be happy to answer those. Otherwise, thank you very much for joining us for this session. Um, delighted to have brought you this uh, new development-backed loan investment bond opportunity. Bye for now.